What is up everybody, Axis GFX here um, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a CC or a colour correction which um, I did or I released a pack for for free for my 300 subs pack. Uh, this had colour corrections like that. This kind of like, um, they can change the colour um, make them look a lot better. They're really good for your renders and cinema, cinema 4D uh, for your backgrounds and everything. Um, so I'm basically going to be showing you how to do a colour correction. So first what you're going to want to do is with your render, this is a render I used for the i5, uh, the region, I've forgotten the name of it. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, the uh, region rec recruitment challenge. Um, I really like this render. It's kind of just a nitro blasted um, text. What's the logo? Um, with a kind of glowy orange material, or just an orange material, because I took the glow off it. Um, with a little grungy texture there. So, um, what we're going to want to do first is we're going to want to lighten our render uh, for like dark CCs and stuff. So do. Uh, Control Shift N for a new layer, and then what you're going to want to do is over the thumbnail, hold Shift and click, which will select your layer, change your color, or just click on it, go to white, and then click Alt and delete while on that layer there, uh, which will fill it with white. And press Control D or Command D e if you're on a Mac. Remember that. Uh, to deselect it, go into the blending mode, overlay. And you see that brightens it up a lot. So you just bring that down. And then also if you have like a light room that you use for it, you're gonna see that there are uh, dark areas of this um, render because the light hasn't got to it. So what you could do, I don't know if this will work very well, but what you can do is you could either brighten this up with a brush by going down, moving your layer down, your new layer, holding alt and then creating that as an adjustment layer and then maybe getting black changing your mode to overlay okay so there we have it and then we can just erase it from here to try and level out the color like that to see the difference <laughs> so put these together and if you want to brighten it again you can do so which I'll probably do because I think it will look a lot better. So do those steps again, select it over here, Alt Delete to fill it and then change the blending mode to overlay and the opacity back down like that. Um, and then merge these together, merge all your layers together. And also um, for this kind of nitro blasted render we could do a with filter gallery and maybe glowing edges and stylize. So try and keep the color down. Like you see how there's a it's kind of created the color. Just make it slightly bright. Because uh, with the black here you can remove it by putting the blending mode on screen. And as you can see that kind of outlines the text a little more. Just turn down the opacity and then merge that down into the other layer and then we're going to want to get started on the CC so create a new group by going down here or control G and then first what I always do is I get a gradient oh, wrong one I get a I have a menu up here, I just use this called a gradient map so just use the default one here, or if it's set to it, it should be this one or this one. Just use this one here, it's fine. And then go into your blending mode, change it to overlay. Make sure this is in the group. Yep, that is. And then turn that down a little. So that's already kind of changed it up a bit. And then what you're going to want to do is go in into here and then choose a solid colour. Change it to a kind of darkish grey and then put it on soft light in blending modes turn down the opacity yet again and if you want you can also do a little saturation thing with the gradient map on that one again and then go into the blending mode lighten like that 
which can add a bit, kind of make it a bit brighter, a bit more washed out, I guess. Um, I, you could just mess about with that. And then what you're going to want to do is in curves, go into curves. This is a basically a vital part of your color correction. So bring down the lows over here, uh, just until it looks good. Maybe bring up here, which you can make it. Don't bring it up too much, just bring it up like that, kind of soften the light a bit in the middle. So as you can see that's quite a big difference there. And then for your next gradient map that you create, if you have a little gradient map pack, what you can do is you can go and choose, uh, well just look for one online, and then just choose a nice one for, I'll just do a blue one because a lot of people do blue CCs now, so maybe something like that. Go into hue, and there you go. That's got a, that's a really nice blue right there. You could do a, you could do like a a red. You could do like a purplish one, I guess, if you wanted. I'm just going to stick with blue for this. Um, and then also, if you wanted to bring out the colors a bit more, you could add some hue and saturation. But and then bring up the hue. I mean, yeah, the sat saturation there. Chill. Obviously saturate it. See if you bring it down, it takes out the colour. And up. This renders pretty good for this because there's quite a lot of colour showing. You can also bring down the opacity of it if you wanted. As you can see that just lightens up a bit. In fact, I might just add a black layer underneath it to make you so it'll be a bit more visible. There. In fact, no. There, okay. And then what you're gonna want to do is maybe some brightness and contrast maybe you bring the brightness up a little because dark renders aren't very nice for backgrounds I guess you can darken it a bit if you wanted with some contrast like that, see it looks pretty nice um, and then also one last thing I think we go for vibrance turn this up a tiny bit maybe turn down the saturation that looks quite nice so, as you can see, that is a pretty nice CC you've got there. And then you can name it something and put it into like your personal CC pack. Just create a lot, just create a couple of uh, good colour corrections and then just put them in. Rename it to, I don't know, you just call it blue or you could call it something weird like I've called all mine in the uh, CC pack that I have here. Like all these ones. So yeah, that basically covers everything. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you out. Um, so thanks for watching guys. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.